Hello everybody, my name is Miriam Geipert. Today I want to introduce the Hytera DMR Trunk Pro. We will start with the first function, it's the individual call. The first function is the individual call. Each radio may add up to 512 users. We have two ways uh, to initiate the individual call. The first one, go to the menu, select contact. After that, select private contact. Then you can choose a user. Test, okay. one, two, one, three, four. four. The other way to make the individual call is to input the individual number you want to call through the keypad. Test, okay. one, two, one, three, four. four. The call party has two ways to answer the call. First, OACSU and FOCSU. We have three radios. Radio A, Radio B and Radio C. Radio A is configured as an FOACSU mode. When I initiate a private call, Radio A has to press the button to answer this. Test, one, two, three. Radio B configured as OACSU mode. When I make an individual call, Radio B will automatically join in the call. Test, one, two, three. The next function is the group call. We have two ways to initiate the group call. The first way to make the group call is to switch the group knob and to that group you want to talk. After that, you press the PTT button and talk. Test, one, two, three. The second way to make the group call is to input the group number through the keypad. And then press the TTP button. Test. Test. One, two, one, three. three. During the group call, other members will display the talking parties areas on the screen. We have three kind of groups. Participate group, response group, and background group. Radio D, we configured group one as participate group. It can only receive the group call if you switch the knob to group 1. Radio D can select group 1 to make the participate group call. Radio B configured group 1 as the response group. So, no matter which group you switch to, Radio B can respond to group call. Radio B can select group 1 to make a response group call. We configured Radio C group 1 as a background group. No matter which group the knob switch to, Radio C will respond to group call. But the difference is, as we can see, we cannot find group 1 in the display. So that means Radio C cannot make a background group call. The next function is late entry. Late entry ensures a group member join in the ongoing group call later when some conditions permit. All these four radios are in the same group. Radio D is powered off. Radio A initiate a group call and hold on. Then turn on Radio D. Then, Radio D will automatically join in the group call. Radios will late enter group call in some conditions, for example, after this radio ending the existing call, after the radio entering into the coverage, after selecting positive paid group, and so on. Next function is short message. First, go to the menu. Message, new message. Here we can support up to 500 characters. Then send the message. We can send the message to a group. Then 
Then you will see the message. Next function is all call. Radio A and B are registered in base station 1. Radio C and D are registered in base station 2. Only Radio A has the all call authority. I use Radio A to date the predefined number asterisk. One nine eight seven, and press the PTT to make the whole system all call. We can also dial the predefined number asterisk one nine eight two to make the whole system emergency all call, or dial the predefined number asterisk one nine eight one to make the whole system priority all call. The next function is broadcast call. Only the calling party can call. These four radios are in group one, and we have two ways to make the broadcast call. Uh, we configured the broadcast call authority to radio A. To initiate the broadcast call, you have to go to subgroup, select subgroup one, select members, select group call one, after that, you go to call type and then go to broadcast call and push the PTT. If pressing the call party PTT, you will hear an alarm tone. That means it has no authority to talk. The next function is priority. To ensure some high-level services during the busy time, the priority strategy is adopted. The priority call can obtain resources firstly when the system is busy. The normal voice of priorities range from level 1 to level 4. Level 4 can print the system resources, while level 1 to level 3 will queue based on the priority strategy. We configured Radio A and Radio B level 1 and we configured Radio C and D level 4. Now we only have one traffic channel for the voice. I use Radio A to initiate a private call to Radio B. Other channel resources are occupied now. During the ongoing, I press Radio D's PTT button and the communication between A and B will automatically stop. The next function is the supergroup call. Configure a supergroup call authority for radio D and configure group 1, the supergroup, also the response group. All the radios are members of group 1. I use radio B to initiate a private call to radio C. While I'm going, I use Radio D to make a supergroup call. Now the communication between Radio B and C stops, and all the radios will automatically join in the supergroup call. The next function is the emergency alarm. When facing the emergency cases, we can initiate the emergency alarm by pressing the emergency button. Emergency alarm has three types, serene alarm, silent alarm and emergency call. The default configuration for emergency alarm is emergency call. We configure one traffic channel for the voice. We configure radio C as the emergency call party of radio D. I use Radio A to initiate an individual call to Radio B. All the channel resources will be occupied now. If I press the emergency button on Radio D, the communication between Radio A and B will stop and I can make an emergency call Radio D. Test 1, 2, 3. 
Now you will see the red icon on Radio C. The next function is the group call merging. After a group call is established and before it is ended, if another radio initiates the group call to this group, the system will merge the radio into the group as a call party. Radio A, B, C and D are members of group 2. Now the channel knob of Radio D is in group 3. Radio A initiate the group call to group 2. Only Radio B and C will respond. Using Radio D to deal the group ID 901, then it automatically join in group 2 and become the call party. The next function is slave group management. It is the function that the system will possibly make the master group members join in the ongoing call. All these four radios are the members of group 2. Radio C and D are also members of group 3. We configured group 2 as the master group and group 3 as the slave group. I will use Radio C to initiate the slave group call. During the ongoing, I will use Radio A to initiate a master group call. Now all the radios are joined in the master group call. The next function is the group call cut-in. Cut-in is the function that the high-level members will interrupt the low-level members and talk in the group call. So the priority range from level 1 to 4. All the four radios are members of group 1. So radio A has level 1, radio B has level 2, radio C has level 3 and radio D has level 4. I use radio A to initiate a group call. During the ongoing, I press the radio B's PTT. Then you will hear the alarm tone of Radio A. That means only Radio B can speak. During the ongoing, I press the Radio C's PTT. Then you will hear the alarm tone of Radio B. And now only Radio C can talk.